Hello everybody, my name is Jay and welcome back to my tech vault. And I always wanted to do a setup tour video just so you all can know kind of like what the background behind all of this stuff is. And uh, since we're kind of going into a new year, I think I did one last year, let's do another one this year. Um, and I want to kind of show off a lot of the background story behind this because uh, there's a lot of cool stories um, to a lot of this stuff. And it's not just like, you know, five different computers sitting over here. It's, uh, there's a lot more that kind of goes on a lot more stories behind this. So I'm gonna start off by just going through. So this is the current system that I have. Um, I actually, I think I just upgraded an SSD on it, but it's about been the same system since the last year. Um, I haven't really needed to upgrade to Ryzen 1800X and 32 gigs of RAM, it's fine. I haven't been able to, I really haven't upgraded it since my birthday last year. Um, so it wasn't really uh, anything special about that um, since the last time I did a video, it's AIO. Uh, 1080 Ti, uh, which is probably overkill for video editing. Um, and then the other thing is, um, this right here is the uh, case from the $75 gaming PC. Um, it really, uh, it's just the case at the moment. And honestly, it's it's just sitting here at the moment because I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I'll probably sell it. I use decent more video equipment because I have a lot of uh, other projects that I need to kind of work on. Um, and also it's just kind of taking up space at the moment since I have another case that's sitting underneath the table. Um, this is just an old uh, workstation. I don't even know if it works. Um, got it out of the trash, so I have to pull around with that a little bit more. Um, so I just got it out of the trash. I don't even know if it works. It's an empty case. Uh, a lot of these components over here are actually from past computer builds. So I'll do, um, like, uh, I'll build a computer and I'll just take the boxes because uh, I think they look cool in the background. Uh, as you can tell, I've built a few computers, um, and that's pretty much just everything there. Um, over here is uh, some more cases and stuff. So this is a case, got dug out of the trash. Um, then this is just uh, some uh, headset I got at a yard sale. It was pretty, I think it was like a couple bucks. Um, so, and then that's just like from the motherboard and cooler and stuff from the $75 game PC. And then there's another motherboard on there. It's kind of like DDR2 or whatever. It's an Af old Athlon. So it's not like... Um, I think everything from here on, oh, never mind the skateboard. I have a one I got from Maui, Hawaii, which was where I got that from. So uh, that's kind of what's sitting down here, but y'all don't really get to see that down there. Um, but like a lot of this stuff is just like from doing computer building, um, finding a couple things in the trash, and a couple yard cell phones. So maybe this whole thing cost me like, I don't know, 10 bucks total. Um, but I think it looks the coolest and I think it like really shows that I know what I'm doing if I've built all that stuff um, And then a little bit more background over here because some of the stuff that's outside of the camera y'all don't actually get to see so um, Over here, I'll just go through what I got so um, a lot of different things Hang on over here um, long story short that's a TV that I had for the last maybe seven years um, so long story short, um, back when I was younger, uh, me and my brother saved up to get an Xbox One. Um, the Xbox One is now sitting downstairs, but the um, TV itself uh, that we also got, um, it's a 1080p TV, um, but it's great for video editing because it's so much space. Um, but that's kind of that, um, and another 1080p monitor over here that I've had, which as I said, for 1080i is not that uh, stressful. Um, and then a couple other things, I've got a, um, Cable management I've been working on. Uh, actually, that's bef after I worked on it some. Um, beforehand, it was a little mess. Um, so I've got the uh, webcam that I use just for like video editing. Or not video editing, just for like, when I do videos on my computer and stuff. So you can see my reaction to that. Um, let's see if I can get this a little bit more over this way. So you all can kind of see what I'm doing here. So um, over here is the mixer that I got. Uh, it was one thing, one of the things I got for Christmas, so that one of the microphones and stuff that I have set up over here, um, where you can actually hear like you know me opening stuff, a little bit more of the uh, physical aspects of like touching stuff, um, especially when you're building computers. Um, and then part of the thing is I uh, um, also have a audio. Uh, it's a lava layer setup, so that when I go through, which heck I don't know where the lava layer is. Here it is. Um, but if you're actually, I'm not using that at the moment, so I apologize if the audio quality is pretty bad. Um, but that's just the lava layer that I have, and that links up to that, so it's all wireless, so I don't have to touch anything. Um, and then that's just the next layer that I got, so that way I can put all the, that's all hooked up to the cameras and stuff over there. Um, so that's just the, the mixer, so I can, you know, have 
maybe two people talking if I get another one of those, um, or just have like the microphone uh, or the boom, not the boom mic, the shotgun mic, so you can hear what I'm doing there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And then this is the case for the camera that's currently getting uh, on my uh, gimbal at the moment. Um, so there was a bunch of things that, um, not necessarily like crazy things, but I did get a couple things for Christmas that are going to make things a little bit more interesting. Uh, and a couple adapters and stuff over there. And then there's, this is just cables, cables for this, cables for that, uh, cleaning equipment for cameras. So here's where I'm actually going to go over here and show you guys what's going on behind the scenes that you all have actually never seen before. So you all have actually wanted to know what it looks like behind the the whole camera thing. Uh, here's where you guys get to know like what's actually going on behind the, the camera. So um, this is going to kind of be a testament to my wacky engineering. Um, so this, I don't know, I'll give you guys a look at this. This is actually um, extremely, this way I describe this is broken. Um, so originally I had like a microphone stand. That's kind of what that was. Uh, it was just a microphone stand. So I had the microphone hooked up there and I played my microphone, but it just was too freaking heavy. So I always pull it down. It was kind of useless. So I attached it to the top broken top of a tripod that we had laying around. And so that's kind of what that became. This actually is like my favorite tool now because as you can tell, I have a camera mount up here. So um, the camera that I have over here, let's grab this. So this is the camera mount. And so I can mount the camera up there. So when I'm doing like shots on, uh, where I'm like shooting from above, like I'm opening or building a computer, um, that, that will go up there. And that was all stuff I've had before I've just built. Um, and then this is of course a light. So like, for example, I'm working, which is actually on at the moment, but if I was like working down here, um, let's see if I get that down there. And so like I'm working down here, I can turn on the light and then I, you know, it's better lighting for whatever I'm doing. Um, and that's pretty much that. Um, and so that's just kind of like that whole setup. And I have a, a nice little hard drive down here that, uh, yeah, a little eight terabyte hard drive that the SATA port broke on it and someone gave me to fix. And as you can see, it's just kind of been used as weight at the moment. Um, and then over here is a microphone. Um, got from one of the projects I was working on. Um, paid for that. That was nice. Um, and then that, yeah, so I just got like a little microphone stand from like Amazon or whatever. And that's kind of like what happens if I'm working on stuff. You guys can, you know, hear the unboxing, things like that. Um, over here, a couple of good things I did get for Christmas, um, which you can kind of tell. Oops, I'm trying to get used to this new gimbal. Apologize. Um, so over here is the interesting, as I said, everything here has usually either been saved from the trash or like gotten at yard sales, which is kind of cool. Um, so this was not, this is a rail for, um, you know, camera stuff. So like I can put the camera on here and I can adjust this and then I can have this move so you all can kind of get like a nice panning view for the stuff that I'm working on. So maybe computer build and stuff will use that. Um, and then over here is just tripods and the tripods I love because a lot of these are like saved from the yard. So this actually is missing a foot, um, one of the feet on the tripod, but it works fine. It's all solid metal and stuff. That was like, I think a dollar. Uh, this was also a dollar. It's another tripod. Um, that was, uh, it's missing the, uh, screw. So you can't really lock it and you have to actually get like a screwdriver to lock, um, the, the top on. But so like they're slightly broken, um, but they work fine for what I'm doing. So a lot of this stuff is and say, then this is something um, that I got for uh, Christmas, another tripod. So like when I have the camera up here, it's a better view for you all to see what I'm doing when I'm doing computer build and stuff. And then also, um, if you're curious what the green dot is, that's why I put the camera every time um, because this does have a noticeable um, fisheye. It actually works better. So when I put the effects on, on the uh, video editing and the premiere, I actually have, um, I know where to put it so that you can get the whole view. I'm actually thinking about moving this up a little bit. And then also I've usually actually ended up using, um, let's see if I can get this up here. I've actually end up using this before to get the camera over far enough to where I like it. And then some of the stuff, other stuff over here. Um, this is the keyboard and mouse I use for when I'm building computers and stuff. Um, just throw that in there. And uh, that's how I use when I'm building stuff. And this is the cable that goes to the monitor over there. Um, and then pretty much this is just some SSDs that I got laying around. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the majority of the stuff. Um, I do have some lights up higher. Y'all remember um, back when I first started this channel, I had a lot of uh, lighting issues um, because it's kind of over in the dark in the corner of the room. So I went through and I put some lights up there so everything looks much lighter. 
Um, so that was the majority of that right there. But that's kind of what is going on at the moment. Um, and most of it actually ended up just being from, if I can adjust this. Yeah, so I actually have a gimbal now too, which is, that's what this is sitting on. Um, but that's kind of what it ended up being, um, setup wise. Um, so yeah, it was just a lot of odd and end stuff, tables and a lot of the stuff underneath here is, uh, just kind of taking up space. So I need to clean it up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's the majority of the stuff. And actually, this is the camera that I usually record my videos on. Uh, funny story. Um, so this is going to be my first video on the different camera. And this is the one that I've had for the last eight months. So this is what everything that's been recorded for eight months has been on this. Which I like this camera a lot. Um, it's like a U 4K plus or whatever. And so it does 4K 60. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, and then this is a little tripod that came on the bottom of the gimbal. So necessarily, I'm just using the gimbal's tripod to uh, record the, or have that record. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I apologize for the video quality because I'm not necessarily sure how to get the audio uh, or microphone hooked up to this on the gimbal. But um, yeah, hopefully there'll be some more future stuff where I'll have some more of these kind of videos maybe. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check out my channel for other cool tech-led news videos, reviews, things like that. Goodbye.